Now we're going to look at the creep under a pre-stressing force and the way to account for it using the effective modulus method. Um, so let's say we have um, some specimen here and we have a, a pre-stressing strand running down the center of it. So uh, we'll put the pre-stressing strand in initial tension and we'll call this FP naught or FS naught. So because it's an initial tension, uh, it's going to have a negative sign. Uh, then this tension is going to be released and it's going to put an external force on our specimen. And this is going to give us a final displacement here. So let's work through uh, the problem again. So we'll start with our equilibrium conditions. So in equilibrium, we have no applied load, so our P-naught equals PC plus PS, which equals AC, FC, plus AS, FS, and this is equal to zero because we have no external applied load. Uh, compatibility, uh, this is where we're going to take into account our pre-stressing force. So we have uh, delta EC equals delta epsilon s and in this case we have no initial concrete strain but we do have an initial steel strain so now uh, we'll look at our constitutive relationships and just like before we'll have for concrete fc equals ec or epsilon c times ec effective our EC effective uh, is EC over 1 plus our creep coefficient and our FS is epsilon S times ES. And if we give these numbers, we'll call this 1, call this 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright, so if we plug 3 and 5 into 2 again, then we'll get FC effective, or FC, sorry, over EC effective, equals FS minus FS naught over ES. And solving for, or uh, solving for FS, we'll have uh, FS equals FS naught plus ES over EC effective times FC. So now we can plug uh, and we can define this as the modular ratio again. Now we can plug uh, this equation 6 back into our equation 1 and we'll find that we'll get uh, AC FC plus AS times FS naught plus eta prime FC equal to zero. Uh, so now we can solve for FC and we'll find our FC equal to negative FS naught times AS over AC plus eta prime AS. And you can see that uh, because our FS naught is negative because uh, we put in an initial tension into our pre-stressing uh, we'll get a final concrete stress that's positive.